So tonight I found a recipe and it's said by Ree Drummond, Pioneer Woman, and then I went to her website and I can't find it. So I don't know if someone just posted this, but it sounds good. So I'm going to make it, but it called for stew meat and I picked up a sirloin because it wasn't enough cook time for the stew meat to get tender. So I'm going to modify it a little bit, but I've got mushrooms that I added, beef stock, French onion soup, noodles, um, the sirloin steak, sour cream, garlic, onion, black pepper, salt, and a little bit of avocado oil. And I'm just going to throw this together as a quick dinner tonight. So I took the steak and I cubed it up, what I feel like would be bite-sized pieces. And I've got some avocado oil, and I'm just going to put that in, and we're going to get it seasoned. Um, I'm really playing with this recipe. Uh, for one, I'm not going to make the full amount. I just feel like it would be too much. It's just Tyg and I eating this. But I did keep the amount of meat the same. So all I'm doing is putting some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and I'm going to put some pepper on this, and we're going to cook this. And then we're going to add the mushrooms. We are going to cook the noodles in the broth, but I have to play around and figure out how much broth I want and the French onion soup. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it in half. Like I said, I'm going to leave the, the steak. And as I said, I'm not using stew meat because if I use stew meat, the cooking instructions aren't long enough to get stew meat tender. So I went with sirloin for this. So I just pulled the steak out. There's a little bit of liquid in here left. Um, I'm just going to break the mushrooms. Some of them are big, so I like mushrooms, but I also wouldn't mind a few of them being broken up. I'm probably not going to use this entire container. It didn't even call for mushrooms. My husband and I just like them. So we'll use a good amount. And we'll let these get cooked and then we'll pull these out as well or I'm probably leaving them in. See, I'll just use the remaining flavor from the meat. Get these cooked down and then we'll add the French onion soup and the beef broth. So I've got some color on the onions. I'm going to add the whole can of the French onion soup and I'm going to cut the broth in half. So we're going to do one and a half cups broth. Of course I have stock, but you know, anything works. this up to a high boil and it called for six ounces of egg noodles I'm or sorry 12 ounces of egg noodles I'm gonna do six or right around there okay so we have this up to temp and I have measured out I played around with it so we are sitting here at six ounces of pasta And we're just going to make sure it's all covered. Like most of these one pot wonders. I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to cook it for about eight minutes. So the noodles are all cooked. The, soft, the liquid has reduced and it may have reduced more than I needed it to. There's still some in there though. It called for, I think, a half cup, mm, half cup or a full cup. We're going to start with a little bit over, and that's probably about a half cup. Because remember, I cut this in half. 
just let that melt. And at the same time, let's add the ground beef back in and let this all come up to temp. And I think I have successfully redone this, redid this recipe <laughs> so that it works. You could do it the way the recipe's written. The problem is, is you will want to cook the, the stew meat for until it's tender before you start doing all of this. Otherwise, it would not be tender enough. All right, and there we go. It's still a little liquidy, but as this sits here, it's gonna thicken. And you could add more sour cream if you want it. I think this is just the right amount. And this is the right amount for just my husband and I. There'll be extra, there'll be leftovers. We'll have lunch tomorrow. Thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight, I am gonna do a real simple white chicken enchiladas. Um, I've got flour, sour cream, green chilies, which I found out, I have about six cans of this in my pantry. <laughs> I like green chilies. They're very inexpensive. I just am giggling at the fact that I keep buying them and not realizing I still have some. I've got an onion. I'm not going to need all of it. I've got garlic. We're going to get some of that finished up. I'm going to use most of this chicken. Um, I've got another recipe I want to use some of it for, so I'm going to divide it out. I've got avocado oil, cumin, salt, pepper, four ounces, uh, or four ounces, four tablespoons of butter, Monterey Jack. I've got a few of these La Bomb Burrita carb um, flour tortillas, which I, I love these, um, but I don't have a full package, so we're just going to fill in with those, and we'll put this in the oven and bake it. Real simple, easy dinner tonight. So I've got my onion sauteing. Add in the garlic. I'm going to add in a tablespoon or so of cumin. salt, let me give this a stir because I don't want anything to burn, there we go, and the pepper. Heating the spices just kind of wake them up. And you can smell them. And all you're going to do is add the chicken. I should have had all this ready and I didn't. I told you, I'm going to try to get two meals out of one of these. We'll see how this works. I have to break some of this up. Oh, I think I can do it. We'll leave that for the other dinner. We're going to come, to, I'm going to get this all broken up and heated, and then we're going to switch pans so that we can start the sauce. So I have four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour. Turn that down a little bit. Those are hot. All we're going to do is stir this together. Make sure you get all the lumps out. Add 
in two cups of chicken broth. As always, do it a little slow because as soon as you add liquid, it thickens it up. one of those don't walk away from the stove. I think all of my biggest cooking mistakes have been because I've walked away. The boys have needed me. The phone rang. You know, the millions of things that can happen when you're trying to cook. I'm eyeballing this because I know this is four cups. And I need half. A little bit more, we'll call it. There we go. So you're just going to want this to come back up to temp. Keep an eye on it. Don't put this under high heat. And it's going to thicken. But you're going to have to stand here and stir it. So I've got it good and thick. I'm going to add in the green chilies. green chili so I didn't want to waste any and back into my drawer for more spoons calls for a cup of sour cream and then give this a mix Put a little bit of salt and pepper in it, and that's about it. Um, the other thing I haven't done is I have the chicken ready to go. I'm going to add some cheese to that. I forgot to put that in earlier. It's fine. I really don't want it that melty. And there's the sauce. My oven is preheating to th add 350 and we're going to cook this for like 30 minutes in the oven. So this calls for 9 by 13. I don't want that much. You know, we've been dealing with trying to downsize our food. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. So this is just a big, big 9 by 9. So we're going to take some of the sauce put it right here on the bottom. Just so this way nothing sticks. It smells good. I haven't had this in years. Our youngest, the baby, doesn't I don't know where he where he was hatched from. I'm just gonna say it that way because the boy doesn't like sour cream and I don't understand. So I've got four of these and I'm gonna fill them with whatever's left. I just don't feel like this is gonna make so much that we're gonna have to negotiate. Alright, trying to find something. side there and try not to make as big of a mess as I make. All right. Who knows how many of these we're going to end up with. I'm thinking I didn't have to be so chin. I could have uh, left some more chicken for tomorrow night's meal. We'll see how this goes. 
so I overstuffed them. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I've been trying to reduce, I mean, I know this is something my husband and I will eat. So, I'm going to ladle this on top. And I don't know if I'll use all of it. We'll see how I get to the end of this. But you do want this covered. There we go. Get one more ladle. I don't feel bad. There we go. And it's all swimming in it, and that's exactly what we wanted. And you take the remainder of your cheese sprinkle it on top. Then like I said, we're going to toss this in a 350 oven and bake for about 20, to, it says 20 to 30. I'm just going to watch it. I figure it'll be somewhere in there. There we go. So out of the oven, they took about 15 minutes at 350 and they're bubbly and they smell delicious. You have to make this recipe.